The Atlantic bluefin tuna is the largest tuna in the Atlantic Ocean. They can grow up to 13 feet long and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They are long-lived, living for 20 years or more, and typically do not lay eggs until they are 8 years old. The Atlantic skipjack is one of the smallest fish, weighing in at 40 pounds and measuring about 3 feet long. They grow quickly, laying eggs at 1 year old, and have a relatively short lifespan of 7 years. their unique torpedo-like body, smooth skin, and long, slender fins, tuna are very fast swimmers. The albacore can swim faster than 50 miles per hour. This helps them catch prey, avoid predators, and cover large areas during their annual migration. Some tuna, like the bluefin, are warm-blooded, like mammals. Maintain a body temperature warmer than the surrounding water thanks to specialized blood vessel structures called countercurrent exchangers. This gives them several advantages over cold-blooded fish. The tuna's ability to regulate their own temperature means they can survive in a wide range of conditions and can be found in both Arctic and tropical waters. The extra heat in their muscles gives them increased strength and speed. It also helps them dive deep reaching depths of 500 to 1,000 meters to find food and avoid predators.
然后他们将这些星星。They are adapted to a nomadic lifestyle, with their very long pectoral fins allowing them to conserve energy by gliding through the water. Tuna travel together in groups called schools. They migrate long distances between hunting grounds and spawning grounds. These schools can consist of hundreds or thousands of fish. For example, albacore tuna swim together in schools that can be up to 19 miles wide. Swimming in schools gives tuna an advantage over their prey when hunting. Having multiple eyes watching the ocean also helps them detect and avoid predators. It is not uncommon to see schools of tuna that include several species of tuna, such as albacore, skipjack, yellowfin, and bluefin. All tuna are predators. Their torpedo-shaped bodies give them an advantage over slower, less maneuverable species, and their keen eyesight helps them catch their prey. eat a variety of foods, including fish, crustaceans and squid. Smaller skipjack tuna are opportunistic predators that prey on a variety of fish, including herring, crustaceans, mollusks, and occasionally other skipjack species. Tuna are also the preferred prey of top predators in the ocean. The speed and agility of tuna are useful in avoiding hungry sharks, sailfish, and toothed whales. Smaller tuna, like skipjack, 
and juveniles must also avoid other larger tuna looking for food. May 2nd is World Tuna Day, named by the United Nations to highlight the global importance of sustainably managing tuna stocks in the world's oceans. This ensures that they will swim in the world's oceans for the foreseeable future. NOAA Fisheries, with the help of tuna fishermen, sustainably manages tuna fisheries in U.S. waters. Paintings found near Sicily provide the best evidence that humans have been fishing for tuna since ancient times. The paintings depict bluefin tuna, and date back to around 9200 BC. Archaeologists believe that tuna was actively fished in the Mediterranean, and have found evidence of this in Greece, Croatia, France and Spain catching a bluefin tuna is a dream for many anglers. The fish is the largest member of the tuna family, and its meat is some of the most prized in the world. be honest, bluefin tuna are really hard to catch. Bluefin tuna are a delicious fish, and are so prized that they can cost hundreds of dollars a pound in some parts of the world. That's because bluefin tuna are one of the largest, fastest, and most sought-after fish in the ocean. Bluefin tuna live in temperate waters all over the world, and they're popular in sushi restaurants for their tender meat and rich flavor. They're also fished for sport, which means there's plenty of opportunity to catch one yourself. But How do you catch one? Is it possible? If so, what do you need to know before you get started? In this article, we'll give you everything you need to know about catching bluefin tuna so you can increase your chances while also protecting these amazing creatures from overfishing. Bluefin tuna are amazing creatures. 
They're one of the largest fish in the ocean and can live for many years. But their size and longevity aren't the only things that make them special, they're also one of the fastest swimmers in the sea. As you can imagine, however, catching one of these giants isn't easy. In fact, it's hard to say why they're so hard to catch. The most common answer is that they're fast-moving creatures and they tend to live in deep waters that are difficult to access on a regular basis. Even if you do manage to find a school of bluefin, they tend to be pretty elusive when they're surprised by human activity near their habitat. But don't give up. With a little research, patience, and maybe a little luck, you can catch your own bluefin tuna. We've all seen pictures of bluefin tuna on the internet, but what do you really need to know about catching them? In this article, we'll cover everything you need to know to catch your first bluefin tuna. The bluefin tuna is the largest tuna known to man. six feet long and weigh over 1,000 pounds. As an adult, it can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour and dive as deep as 3,000 feet below the surface. And because they're so large and have such a high metabolic rate, they need to eat constantly. Bluefin tuna have always been a valuable catch for fishermen, but because they are so large, they can be difficult to reel in once you have them hooked.
to their size, they are difficult to catch, especially since they are fast swimmers, reaching speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. It's not just their size that makes catching bluefin tuna difficult. They also have extremely sharp teeth, which they use to defend themselves when threatened by predators like sharks or humans trying to catch them for sport or food. Bluefin tuna can live up to 40 years.